In this screencast I'll show you how to solve simultaneous equations. So if we take this example of 3x plus 5y equals 27 and 3x plus 6y equals 30, um, we can solve this by maybe just looking at it you might be able to sort of figure out the solution but I'm going to sort of show you a methodology. So we've got two equations and two unknowns and we want to know what's the value of y and what's the value of x. So if we label these two equations, equation 1, equation 2, and then if we subtract equation 1 away from equation 2, 3x take away 3x is 0x, 6y take away 5y gives us 1y, and then 30 take away 27 gives us 3, so y equals 3. If we rearrange equation 1, we've got x equals 27 take away 5y, divided by 3, so we've made x the subject, we can now put in the value for y that we've calculated and we'll find that x equals 4. So just take in another example, again if we label the equations 1 and 2, this time um, it's not as straightforward because we've not got um, a number of x's equal to each other or a number of y's equal to each other, so we're going to have to do something extra here. So we're going to multiply equation 1 by 2 so we're going to end up with 4x plus 4y equals 32. So we've just taken all the values that we've got in equation 1 and doubled them and got this equation. And we're going to call this equation 3. And now we're going to be able to take um, equation 2 and, and then to subtract equation 3. Because we've now, we've now managed to get the x's to be the same. We've got 4x in both of these. So let's see how this works. So we've got equation 2, subtract equation 3. So we end up with 0x, so 4x take away 4x is 0x. 6y take away 4y is 2y. And then 44 take away 32 is 12. So if we work that out, we get y equals 6. Then if we rearrange equation 1, substituting the value of y, we get x equals 2. Another way to solve this would be to again label equation 1 and 2 but multiply equation 1 by 3. So that would give us 6x plus 6y equals 48. And we're going to label that equation 3. And now we've managed to get the y's to be the same as each other. So this time what we'll do is we'll do equation 3 take away equation 2. So equation 3 has 6x take away the 4x from equation 2 we're left with 2x. 6y take away 6y gives us 0y. 48 take away 44 is 4, so x equals 2. Rearrange equation 1, substitute in the value of x, y equals 6. OK, what about if we had three equations and three unknowns? Then we should be able to solve that, but it's starting to get more complicated. We also might have a situation where we've got one equation, one unknown. And the point I'm trying to make here is that we have to have the same number of unknowns and the same number of equations in, able, in, in order to be able to solve this. So if we've got one equation and one unknown, we can solve it. Two of each, three of each, four of each, six of each. Once you start to get five unknowns, five equations, and so on, it starts to get very complicated, and you might want to start using matrices. But the main point here that I'm trying to make is that if you've got n equations, you can solve for n unknowns. Okay, so that's been a video about solving simultaneous equations.